What's up, you all? Welcome to Catching Bits of Wisdom, which I call Puzzle Pieces. I had to come up with a way, Father God had to give me a way to communicate the message, what I understand, what, what can change, transform our lives. I won't give up. I refuse. I am going to survive! Ah! If anyone knows what it's like at the bottom, it's me! But I could never stop striving to climb higher! Ah! You rank hunter Jinu Sun. That's all you'll ever be. A dreamer who never learned his place. Shut your mouth! <laughs> so pathetic. All that talk about how ready you are and this is the best you could do. You'll have nothing to blame for your death but your own ego. Okay, then, my point up it is, I guess. Till next time, he said. Meaning, if I live long enough, I'll see him again. Any pain I go through, any suffering I endure, if it doesn't kill me, it'll make me stronger! I had to come up with a way, Father God had to give me a way to communicate the message, what I understand, what, what can change, transform our lives. And here I found this video, uh, Dan Pena, um, don't know if y'all know who he is, uh, I don't even really know who he is, I just, I've ran into a, a few of his videos and we're He's dropping bombs, and I'm running it through my mind, right? But here, here is a confirmation, and this is what I've been seeking to to communicate to you all this message, where you replace. It's basically, I tried being positive for a long time, but that didn't work, right? So then I, I start. Father God started to teach me about well, about a lot of things, right? But <laughs> right now, let's focus on positivity and negativity so it's like i have a tattoo of a scales right uh so scales so we want to be balanced we want to be uh, half empty half full not either or of those we want to be aware that we can be either or half empty or half full right positive or negative thoughts uh so each of these puzzle pieces each of these bits of wisdom you're replacing you know I can't do this. How can I? That was a puzzle piece I learned from uh, Rich Dad Poor Dad book. If y'all haven't checked it out, check it out. Uh, but here I'm just going to go ahead and play it. And he's going to give it to us right here. Let's check it out. Hopefully it's not too loud. Place those negative thoughts with positive, empowering ones. Instead of, I can't do this, try this is challenging, but I'm capable of figuring it out. Instead of, I'm not good enough, try Like right there, for example, that, instead of, I can't do this, he gave us a puzzle piece right here. Every time your mind, you have to be mindful through the, through the journey of your day. When your mind tells you, I can't do this, I can't do that. That's when you catch yourself, right? It's like if you're, you're about to, you're tripping and you're falling already. You stop yourself, you catch yourself. By catch, I mean you stop yourself, you're aware, you mind for yourself aware. And then you, instead, you replace that negative thought for this puzzle piece, this thought, this bit of wisdom that he's given us, that he learned through his life journey, right? Uh, how did it go? Hold on, give me a second. I wrote it down actually in my, my little, my notebook. Um, 
works. Uh, all right. Instead of I can't do it, I haven't succeeded yet, but I am learning and improving with every attempt. So this, I'm repeating it to myself through the journey of my day, especially whenever, you know, I get frustrated or whatever. Something goes wrong, right? Uh, but let's go ahead and play it. I'm going to start actually from the beginning. Man, your power, your self-talk. The way you speak and to yourself shapes your reality. If you're constantly putting yourself down, telling yourself you're not good enough, guess what? You're going to believe it. A and you're going to act accordingly. It's time to become your own biggest yes. cheerleader. When that negative self-talk creeps, in a, and it will challenge it, question it. Would you speak to... And that's what I'm trying... That's why my message is through the channel too, right? This is what I did with my life, my whole life. My mind would tell me, you're this, you're that, you're a loser, you're a piece of crap, you're, you're whatever, right? You're an alcoholic, you're a failure, you're this. So then I became an alcoholic for... 10 years, 15 years. I don't know how long it was. It was like 15 years from the age of teens. I started drinking uh, to, but I would say more in my 20s. That's when I really started drinking harder, right? Uh, so I would say about 10 years, 10 years. I became an alcoholic because I listened to those voices in my mind and I was just in shame and in, uh, friend the way you speak to yourself if not it's time to change the narrative replace those negative thoughts with positive empowering ones instead of i can't do this try this is challenging but i'm capable of figuring it out mm. instead of i'm not good enough try i'm constantly growing and improving this isn't about deluding yourself or ignoring your area for improvement it's about giving yourself the same compassion and encouragement you'd give to someone you care about it's about creating a mental environment that fosters growth and resilience rather than self-doubt and stagnation. As you start implementing these strategies, you'll notice a shift. You'll start feeling more confident, more in control of your life. You'll start attracting different kinds of people and opportunities. And most importantly, you'll start to value yourself in a way you never have before. But here's the thing. This isn't a one and done process. <coughs> Reclaiming your power. And self-worth is an ongoing journey. There will be setbacks. There will be days when you slip back into old patterns. And that's okay. The key is to keep moving forward. To keep choosing yourself. To keep reinforcing your worth through your actions and choices. And remember, you're not just doing this for yourself. By, uh, by reclaiming your power and self-worth, you're setting an example for others. You're showing the world what it looks like to love yourself unapologetically, to demand respect, to live life on your own terms. You're breaking the cycle of self-sacrificing love, not just for yourself, but for everyone who looks up to you, for your children, if you have them. For your friends who are stuck in toxic relationships, for anyone who's ever felt like they had to diminish themselves, be loved. This is your moment. This is your time to rise. To shed the weight of others' expectations and stand tall in your own power. To look in the mirror and see not just who you are, but who you're becoming. You're worthy. You are valuable. You are deserving of love and respect. Not because of what you do for others. Not because of your accomplishments or your relationships, but simply because you exist. You are enough just as you are. Yep, and as he said right here, <clears throat> these are generational curses that we are breaking. If you look into spirituality, these are generational curses. If you look at it from psychology and, and uh, doctor's perspective, this is trauma that we've been through, right? But if we don't accept that, if we don't accept the spirituality part, then how can we heal, right? How? It's not possible. Uh, and this is, yeah. And that's why it's super important because to my children, I'm breaking these generational curses. So I don't pass it on to them. And then 10 years, 20 years from now, I'm wondering what's going on. Right. But yeah, I'm going to leave it there. I'll check you out. I'll see you on the next video.